day 163 hey <laughs> right. welcome back to more of this as a police as we continue on here just moving along hopefully I can get better evidence this time around but today performance art at candy factory artist defecated in vat of chocolate how was that performance art truckers complain of high transport taxes yeah I could see that and also wooden horse uh, toy store upgrades playground that's nice City Hall still likes me, of course they have to, so let's go to work. There you go, Fishbuck, you didn't come into work today. Why? Vasquez, oh. Tagalog, you're gonna go home, yes. Tagalog, you're gonna go home, no, I need you. Terrible heartburn, nope, I need you. Nope, I need you. Gives you causing trouble again. Yes, you may go. Can I go home? No. My brother went hiking and disappeared. Can I go help and search? Yes, you may. Fishbach. Why? If I hear about a case, he's fired. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. This sucks. <laughs> he's like the backbone of this. Oh well, at least I have Robins as well. Let's see, any good music coming in? No, there's like no other music. That's a shame. Uh, wow, like really, there's not that much extra music. Oh well, I guess this will be a no music day. Due to lack of federal subsidized, the uh, city treasury can no longer afford expensive prosthetics. Disabled veterans who were not going to be receiving artificial limbs somehow learned of this and have joined with the local journalist to arrange a whole live news show. Whining on TV isn't going to gr uh, grow anyone new legs. We need to teach people they'll get no special treatment just because they're disabled. If you need to grab someone's crutches and put their nose in the asphalt, then so be it. Jeez. Uh, I'm sorry, Flagella. And then also Clements, too. Yeah, that was so weird when those two died. Reckless endangerment at the Christmas tree. A man in a Santa Claus suit who was supposed to be part of the evening show drank a lot of alcohol and ran straight into the mid uh, midst of the festival and climbed up the giant tree and began to swing. The audience is shouting for the man to come down and the tree is about to fall over uh, right on top of them. Alright. Mm, about 100 disabled veterans are rallying outside the veterans' home. They have invited journalists to the protest and are urging the authority to reconsider their position. Are you sure you want to send any officers? No, I don't want to send any officers. Oh, yes, I don't want to send any. Yeah, 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 fuck off. I ain't doing that shit. That's wrong, and you know it. These guys should be handling the case here. Uh, Kang and Gordon. There you go. A couple of these guys should be transferred over. In progress. So... Fishbach, if I fire you... Uh, I can't fire Fishbach. Why is that? I also can't fire you. Oh. Huh. I can't fire anyone, really. I can fire Vasquez because he didn't come to work. That's uh, a little odd. Oh, were these the ones that made the complaints? I'm betting they are. Very well. Uh, her neck. There you go. Public indecency in Desire Park. While Anne Gross was walking her chihuahua, she noticed a couple climb into the public fountain and began pulling off each other's clothes. Wouldn't be surprised if they started having sex right there. The nerve, shouted the outraged Mrs. Gross. Alright, Adams take Wolf. Proceed. Careful out there, it's cold. Okay. A 
Affairs, police station. Can we move? Yeah, we can move people. I just gotta make sure that later on. Uh, let's see. I can see if I can move like Coleman to shift A, Casey to shift A, and Delozar to shift B, and Kang to shift B. Those two ought to be good. Okay, hostage situation with a fatal casualty. Veterinary clinic. Several armed animal rights activists have raided a pet store demanding the immediate release of all prisoners. Several visitors rushed to the exit and in the confusion someone fired on a fleeing young man who promptly dropped dead. One of the frightened criminals shouted, oh god, I can't go to prison. Let's waste all the witnesses and get out of here. Fuck the damn dogs and cats. <laughs> oh, you're going to jail. You are going to jail. I will make sure of that. Reckless endangerment, taken care of, good. Public indecency, taken care of, good. The hostages are on their knees, prepared for death, but the criminals are arguing and can't decide who will play executioner. Take stray dog hostage and offer an exchange, prepare for the assault, get in touch with the criminals and open negotiations. Prepare for the assault. The suspect with the tattoo on his forehead is trying to open fire on the hostages, but the safety on his gun is refusing to cooperate. Frantically tries to switch it off, throw stun grenades, and detain all suspects. Pretend to be a dog and sneak up the criminal, open fire on the criminals, and shoot to kill. There you go. Missing person in the forest. Five year old girl went missing during a family barbecue in the countryside. I just looked away for a second, she was gone. Joked the mother of the girl through her tears. Go. Don't worry, I'll get him. That's a fight. Hold on. Mission of God, Mr. Boyd. Black sheep has crept into my parish. For the second Sunday in a row, this villain dips his unclean fingers into the donation bowl filled with the generous offerings of our member. My people weren't able to catch the thief in time, so I'm asking for your help. Send to our church the most devout employees that they may guard the sacred chalice of the Lord like eagles. And then those eagles sink their claws, their talons actually, into the wicked. Bring him unto me, for I wish to teach the thief a lesson on the, on the ways of the Old Testament. I might be okay with that. I might be okay with that. Excuse me, I gotta take care of a massive fight first, though, in the underground crossing. During the Christmas Marathon, a Santa Claus fight broke out involving a stabbing and about four dozen men in Santa Claus suits. Well, ho, ho, holy shit. Oh, wait, I need at least four of you guys. Boom. <coughs> uh, here, you, you, and Cecil. Yeah, Cecil. There you go. Send them on to me. Missing person report. Girl decided to play hide and seek and all this time was hiding under a tarp in the back of her father's pickup truck. That, that's a dumb idea, little girl. Someone's gotta teach you how to have fun properly. Can't do it. Invitation only party will be held at the City Hall today where uh, where officials will be given various awards for their service. Police should be on hand to provide protection as City Hall security is are sure to be drinking. Refuse. You shouldn't be drinking. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I only got $49 for my service. Son of a bitch. Armed robbery at the Fortune Bank. Eight armed men dressed as superheroes. Hello. Hi, web store version update. Go away. You didn't see anything. I just try to get it away and it's just... <laughs> Although my, my web camera should be properly blocking it. I don't know. Excuse me. Armed robbery at the Fortune Bank. 
Eight armed men dressed as superheroes burst into the bank and demanded their bags be filled with cash. Two guards drew their service weapons and opened fire on the robbers, killing one and wounding two others. Both guards were then killed, and one civilian has been wounded. Bring him out. Okay, affairs, we're good, investigations. I think we should be getting more information for this and properly finishing it today. Yeah, I honestly feel that we will. Alright, Delozar and Kang both being a part of that is actually very good. I'm trying to transfer them over, balance things out. Soon the church will be gone, though. Destruction of property. Retiree Beth F uh, uh, Fouch? Or Foch? Futch. Beth Futch. <laughs> kind of like touch, but with an F. Uh, reports that a Viking riding a unicorn is trampling the lilies in her flower bed. He's turning the whole front yard into a muddy mess. Come over here and shoot the bastard. Uh, you sure you're not just seeing cartoons like that other guy? Okay, Fortune Bank is going to be bad. Trevor and Murata go. I'm sure the office doesn't like me, the, uh, the mayor's office. I uh, don't think I'm going to be getting back up soon. Rape in the Underground Crossing. Vanessa uh, Gant was returning from a party at night and heard a woman scream. I looked around the corner and saw two men tearing off a young woman's clothes. One of them then threw the victim to the ground and pinned her neck with his leg while the other one pulled off her pants. Just no. We're putting a stop to that. The woman had taken too many of her anxiety medication and began to hallucinate. Yep. And we got three new frames. So. Here we go. He goes here. Uh this, and then this, and then Wade, and then bam. Yeah. Once again, I forget to read. But, um, the convoy of the bishop's white jeeps have been uh, sighted at a gas station. The bishop works hard for the good of the church and the community. The entire floor of city main sky sky skyscraper, <laughs> not crapper, is set aside for the bishop's luxury apartment. Um... I do believe that it's, uh, their, their jeeps were sighted at a gas station. I just need two people for two in. Damn it! Mm -hmm. You've been found guilty of abuse of your power. Your city requires that your salary be reduced by 50%. Well, that's double damn it. I missed, I missed the, uh, the chance. It was just by that much. Oh, well, I'll take care of the church. In the next one. So, yeah. It's a shame. Alright, abuse of power has been found. Uh, I think Moser's the one in charge of this, so we're good on that. But I guess now it's time for me to end the day here and just call it right here and just say, hey, thanks so much for anyone watching. This is a police. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. Have a good one and see you later.